Hey guys, uh, it's your boy, Will Kincaid, back at it again with yet another one of these overwhelmingly requested videos about Damon on uh, under Haven Animancer Fancy Badger Drunken Fancy Apex Fancy Fucking Anna Haven whatever whatever the fuck they're going by this particular day. Oh, we're doing this again. <laughs> Confetti saved up. <laughs> I got a lot of requests to do this video. Um I, I had talked to a couple of people, and just when I was ready to just let this whole thing fucking go, I, I, I inexplicably, a, a large number, probably, like, between comments and, and Twitter DMs and Discord dumps, probably, like, somewhere in the neighborhood of... I don't know, like 30 to 50 people just dump more information about the the Kivel Underhaven Animancer thing into my lap that and, and that I knew what to do with. It's taken me. It, today is the 19th of January, 2022. I've been doing this since at least the 17th. All right, I've been going through the internet because I didn't want to get anything wrong. All right, because I know that occasionally some people will send fake information to try to get me to take the bait and say some dumb shit, and then and then so that they can then be like, oh, look, fucking uh, Frank, look, or or whoever the fuck, or or Mothra, Mothra J. Oh, and by the way, Mothra J, thanks for ruining my second favorite kaiju. That that was wonderful. Uh, if, if you're if, if you're wondering what the uh, what the what my first favorite kaiju is, it's it's a destroyer. Destroyer. Anyway, um. Right, so, I mean, I made this video about a month ago now, it was, it was the fucking, it was like Christmas Eve that I uploaded it, um, it was part of, um, my Christmas Eve Eve show, so it would have been the 23rd, and I just clipped it out and put it there in its entirety because it was actually broken up a little bit, and, um, the fit certainly did hit the shan. Um... If you want to see that video, uh, it'll be linked in the description there, so you can just go ahead and click that, and you can watch that first. In fact, I'd recommend that you watch that video first before you go any further. I'll wait. I'll wait. Okay, so hopefully you actually watched the video that I just referenced, because it's going to fill in a whole lot of shit that I'm not going to go over again. Now... There are some, some, there's some information that I want to, that I think bears mentioning, again, that we know is factual, that we've proven already, how far we've come, okay? So, and there's some new information. There was some information that I had missed previously that I didn't realize I was missing because I wasn't checking dates on videos. I'm better at that now. One of the things that I discovered that is basically going to be the linchpin for this entire video is that Kivel started college in 2020. So I never tell him that because I didn't want him to know and show up in where I was going to be going to school. Um, me living in it is already public information, I know, because I've told people. But I didn't expect where I'm going to go to university being posted ever because I didn't expect my bio to be public just round about year and a half ago from the, the upload date of this video the other thing that we know for a fact is that damon larue aka animancer right under haven anna haven was born somewhere around we think 
April of 1998. He could have been born as late as July of 98. But we're fairly certain he was born in April. The other thing that we know for a fact is that he solicited and received pornographic images of a minor from said minor. If you're looking at this on the screen now, you'll see the blurred shot of the nude that Kivel sent to Animancer at Animancer's bequest. So those are the things we know. Now I want to get into the versions of events that we have been given by a handful of individuals because people are disputing what I'm saying and they're all claiming to source, in some cases, one another as their proof that I'm full of shit. So why don't we start, I, I, I think it would be fitting to start with Motho J's timeline. His timeline goes something like this. The relationship begins when they're both minors. Kivel and Animancer. The the relationship between Anna and somebody else in question was when both of them were minors and it was okay. Now, I'm unclear on whether or not he meant that they were both the same age as minors, like they were both 17 in the first video that he put, but we'll just give him the benefit of the doubt here and say that Kivel is 14 and Animancer is 17. Then some shit happens in 2017 and the rest is history. That is his version of events. They've they've magically aged up what was a 14-year-old and a 17-year-old, which legal to an 18-year-old and a 13-year-old. And then what's also funny is the people who have the details of that situation can tell you why they're full of shit. Because Will doesn't know shit. And on top of it, he filed a police report. And uh, nothing came of it. So oh, my favorite. We'll get more into detail about what he says specifically about his version of events later on in the video when we go through some of the accusations that he's levied at me specifically. Then we have Jay Darkay's timeline. We'll call it the future J timeline because there are two different versions of this timeline that J has given us. In the current incarnation, the future J timeline, they say that Anna was 17 in 2015 and the relationship begins in 2015 when they're both minors. Two years pass, shit happens in 2017. That's the current version of events that we've received from Jay. He proved that, yes, Anna was 17 in 2015, which is when that relationship began. They were both minors. The relationship might have continued to, to when... Uh, one of them wasn't a minor, but that's a whole other, that, that's, yeah, the, the, they were both minors at the time. However, a Reddit post from May 20th of, I believe, 2021, we'll call this timeline, based on this version of events from this Reddit post, we'll call that the past J timeline. They start by saying Romeo and Juliet laws. They say, oh, well, if they're at least four years apart and it begins when they're minors or whatever, then it's it's copacetic. It's kosher. And apparent, and then they go on to say that Ben from the Drunken Peasants says that this version of events is true that you're about to hear. Kivel and Animancer. Kivel was 17 and Damon anime answer was 19 but that's all that's that's okay yes anna was 17 in 2015 which is 
when that relationship began. Uh oh, stinky. Okay, so those are the timelines, and we'll be referencing some of this information as we go forward. Now, J. Dark A, aka Lady Hopium, that's her username now on fucking YouTube, says that Damon has given his version of events um, in on other channels and in other podcasts and shit. I can't find any of this. I'm not saying it doesn't exist. I'm just saying I couldn't find it. So... If anybody has access to that information, there will be another part. And all of the links to all of my social media, wherever you prefer to contact me, will also be in the description of this video. If you can send me the link and a timestamp would be helpful of any video outside of J Dark A's channel that Damon has given his version of events if you could send that to me I would be grateful because I'd really like to get to the bottom of this and if I'm wrong I'm willing to eat a big fat juicy slice of crow humble pie and say that I was wrong I've had to do that in the past and I'm willing to do it again now at some point during all of this once the allegations come out in 2017 Jay and Animancer, Lady Hopium and Underhaven, whatever, they split. They they stop working together. And then I'm not sure when, but they they eventually get back together after the spat as co-hosts. I'm not sure how all of this fits together precisely, but Jay also accuses Ben of raping Taylor. Um basically drugging her and forcing her to do sexual acts with her and taylor is now scotty kirk aka kaiser scoopy that's that's scotty's wife now and i i i i'm not sure how it's relevant it's part of the information that i was sent i think what really what it does is it illustrates that there's there's probably a little bit of bias and deflecting happening on Jay's part because Jay has been trying to spin that narrative for a while. I'm not saying that it didn't happen or did happen. All I'm saying is that it does color Jay's take and it does sort of illustrate why Jay might want to deflect. Because if it is true, it's one of these things where somebody can be like, well, what about? Because the what aboutism is fucking real, folks. It is absolutely fucking it it's there. Because like one of the first things that happened when I put my video out was, well, what about Smokey and the allegations against him? And never mind the fact that we've addressed it before and that it's not him, it's actually a relative of his. And they were never prosecuted. They were only charged. And it was in a state with Romeo and Juliet laws. And that's why it never even saw the light of day. Never mind that. But the whataboutism on that particular piece of information was real as fuck as well. So it would make sense why somebody would want to do that. Eventually, after everything had died down... Um, with all of the drama that you've seen, uh, specifically the things that ensued after the Honest Red video, um, eventually all discussion of Kibble and Animancer was specifically verboten in the Drunken Peasants Discord. Why am I bringing that up? I'm just establishing facts before I, I get to where I'm ultimately going. As we've heard from Jay, Jay says, well, why, why would, why would all of these people like the, the Geek Room and TJ and these bigger YouTubers, why would they continue to associate with the Animancer if this was true and they knew it was true, right? Well, I mean, Jay kind of tells us themselves. Anna has a lot of friends. She's friends with a lot of YouTubers. A lot of people with their fucking careers on the line. And make no mistake, I, I've been friends with Anna for a long fucking time. Make no mistake, anytime she gains prominence in any community, 
and the people that don't like her catch wind of that, the same rumor crops up, it gets looked into, and it gets largely dismissed because at the end of the day, there's nothing really there. You can say that again. <laughs> All right, so let's get to Mothra J's accusations of me. All right. Okay, so his first accusation is, well, the uh, so I I said in the video that I did file a police report, and I timestamped it for people so that they could find it more easily. He says the authorities didn't do shit, so uh, so Will Kincaid must be wrong, right? Okay, so what about Von Helton or Shani or Rev or G Man or any of these other fucking losers, right? So if they if they haven't seen the inside of a jail cell, that must mean they're all innocent too, right? Dipshit? No, I don't think so. That's that's completely moot and irrelevant. The other thing that he says is. The victim not coming forward is the refutation. Well, if you listen to the full Honest Red video, which I will link in the description of this video also, you'll hear from Kivel herself exactly why she didn't come forward. And I reiterated that fact in the video itself. In fact, it's what immediately precedes me saying that she didn't come forward. Mother J also says, I've heard the real story and Will's misrepresenting the situation. Well, I presented you with three now separate timelines of events, four if you count the other version of events of J Dark A telling us what exactly it was that happened two different ways, plus Kibble's version, and of course, Mothra's version which doesn't line up with any of the other three. So that's bullshit. The other thing is just dodging. Will hangs out with Smokey and J-Dubs. So he's a shit moral arbiter. <coughs> Let's just say, hypothetically, that Romeo and Juliet laws actually applied to this situation, which they don't. I'm not going to dox Kivel's location, uh, so, unfortunately, unless she decides to come on the channel and tell us exactly what state that she lived in, um, I'm not going to say. I'll tell you this, though. There are no Romeo and Juliet laws in the state that she lived in at the time and lives in now. And there are no Romeo and Juliet laws in Massachusetts where Damon lives. That's fucking horseshit. And second of all, regardless of that fact, Damon was, and still very well could be, in possession of these pornographic images of a minor. That's possession of child pornography. And, you know, he threatened to kill himself over this. So, why, in, re in retaliation, why wouldn't he, if he was still in possession of this stuff, distribute this as revenge porn? So... You could make the argument that maybe there's intent there. I'm not going to say that because I don't know. I, I can't get inside this guy's fucking head completely. It is possible. Maybe it, maybe it crossed his mind at some point. Maybe it didn't. I don't know. This is That's just pure speculation. So you, you, you just take that however way you want to take it, I guess. Recently in a stream on Underhaven, the channel, Animancer Damon LaRue says... That because J Dubs de had deleted videos and stuff, and uh, that he had, which isn't true, he didn't delete videos. He actually handed his channel off to a guy named David, who's running that channel now. And because J Dubs has started a new channel, he's running from his past. Uh, I do want to talk about someone else, uh, someone who else was trying to like uh, <laughs> run away from some shit. Uh, Damn. I, I, I want to touch upon this real fast because I think I'm the first fucking person to notice this. But uh, J-Dubs went and deleted all his videos on his YouTube channel. 
all oh, of them. Shit. Wait, like, did he delete them or did they get deleted? Because no, because the, he I, does I, a lot of ban worthy shit. Well, the YouTube channel is still there. It's still the same YouTube channel, so I don't think that's what happened. I think he he unlisted them or privated them or he deleted them. But um, yeah, he basically relaunched his entire YouTube channel like two weeks ago. Let's take a look at it real fast. This is all he has now. It's called Tour of Friends Podcast. Well, isn't that the pot calling the kettle a racial slur? Yep. You fucking shut up. Am I allowed you to speak without homophobic. you interrupting me? Not okay, if you're gonna use okay hold on. Slurs. Shut the like fuck that. up. Fuck you, faggot. I don't give a shit. I'm a faggot. Another... Fuck you, nigger. <laughs> fuck oh, you. Look how, look how fucking tough you are. The other thing I want to say before I get into um, my timeline of events and what I think actually happened here and why. I just want to say, I don't really appreciate people trying to weaponize my channel because they don't like somebody from some React community. They don't like, they don't like SecOp. They don't like, they don't like Frank or Bran or somebody doesn't like Tragic, so that's why they're deflecting. Or they don't like Negs. I don't appreciate the weaponization and politicization of this video. And I don't like people trying to use that to as an ends to a means for their particular wars and to satisfy their particular hate boners for the other individuals on either side of drama external this particular issue i would appreciate it if everyone recognized the real issue here which is that damon has authority he has a show that's being propped up by the geek room not under haven but unchained maidens he has basically number two status and more discords than i can count which is a bad idea on its own on account of the fact that discord is where all of this bullshit started in the first place and that as recently as last year, he was busted sexually harassing somebody that I know personally, as well as several other people, which is evidence enough for me to believe that he is probably still up to these same old games. Never mind him cavorting with several women at the same time, lying to all of them, saying that he's only in a relationship with one of them when he's really fucking around with all three which even if he isn't fucking around with minors anymore he's probably still doing this shit to other women and at this point i'm not convinced maybe he's not doing it with dudes or worse minors so here's the timeline as i've worked it out okay okay so since we know for a fact now based on honest reds video and when it was recorded and what she said and when we know that kivel began attending college in 2020 so 18 years ago she would have been born in 2002 14 years later that's 2016 that's when apparently the relationship began based on the screenshots of kivel and animancer talking to each other on discord right so we know that the relationship began in 2016 and ran to sometime in 2017. the drunken peasants discord doesn't start showing up in links and videos so it wasn't widely circulated or publicly circulated at the very least until october 21st 2015. so that's actually at the end of 2015 which brings us into 2016 and I, and it does seem and well actually let's not get ahead of ourselves here are the facts as i see them and here's my timeline of events damon was born somewhere between april and july of 1998 then kivel's born in 2002 the D the dp discord was founded somewhere around october 21st 2015 then the relationship begins in either January or February-ish, 2016. Then on July 19th, 2017, the one 
proven documented case of Damon LaRue soliciting nudes from Kivel, a minor at the time, occurs. Then somewhere around August 10th of 2017, the relationship ends. It could have been before that, but it's somewhere in that neighborhood. And then of course, Kivel begins college in 2020, and that brings us to today. Now, some of you people are probably saying, hey, wait a minute. <laughs> Wasn't it said previously in another video and in some of the retellings of timelines by some of the individuals at the beginning of this video that she was 16 or 17? I think that Kivel, when asked, artificially deflated her age. Now, let me get this straight. That would mean that you lied about your age to make yourself older. But why would any woman want to do that? I think she did this because at the time, the Drunken Peasants Discord and their admins strongly discouraged and in some cases outright banned people who are under the age of 16 for reasons that should be pretty obvious but if they're not, it's basically to do with the fact that there was uh, strong language and, and other situations that occurred during the podcast. So having somebody under the age of 16 in there could be problematic for legal reasons. I think it's corroborated by the fact that she said in some screenshots from the Discord that she hadn't been through puberty yet. And earlier she had insinuated that she was somewhere between the ages of 14 and 16. I had a dog and his name was Bingo. So I think more likely than not, she was actually 14 years old at the beginning of the relationship and was 15 in 2017, not 16. But again, regardless of that fact, Damon LaRue was still in possession of nude photographs of a minor that he specifically asked for. And again, Mothra, I ask you, if I'm not, if I'm a shit moral arbiter, are you saying that my criticism that possession of child pornography is an abhorrent thing, are you saying that that's wrong? Or are you saying something else is wrong? Because you still, unfortunately, given the photographic evidence, have to admit that Damon was indeed in possession of child pornography. That fact really cannot be disputed. Uh-oh, retard alert. Retard alert, class. And I've... I've recently come into possession of a secret recording that hasn't been widely distributed to the public of admins questioning Kivel about the situation. I'm going to play that now. I'm not going to play it in its entirety, but instead I'm going to hang on to the rest of it. I just want people, especially that Limp Biscuit guy, to know that I do actually have this recording and that I'm not just talking out my ass. Um, are, we, we really need some sort of definite proof to know that it was his account and stuff. And we, we just really need some screenshots or something because are this- Are you guys trying to get him to break up with this guy or get him back together with that? I'm it's nothing to do with it's Die right to, now. Yeah, it's nothing to do with Die um, right now. We, okay. We just really need, like, Kivel, like, I I haven't really talked to you much, but I've heard many things about you, and you've been friends about with About how these... terrible I am? And no, how, uh... no, no, no. Uh, honestly, I've heard more positive things than negative, um, especially from Chris and some other people. Aw, uh, Chris, you... I miss Chris. Yeah. Okay, um, if... And you've been friends with these guys for a very long time, and I think you, I, mm -hmm. I am hoping you understand that, like, the screenshots like this, we can help, we can, we're better to help these people, to help these people and these people that, and just, like, we're, we're just trying to. Final summation, Damon LaRue, Animancer, Fancy Badger, Drunken Fancy, 
Underhaven, Anahaven, whatever, <coughs> is a fucking dirtbag, one way or the other. Um, I am in the process of getting in contact with the actual Kivel and trying to see if, with this renewed in interest, she would be willing to do some sort of interview. Uh, it doesn't have to be on my channel. It doesn't have to be public, like live. It can just be like recorded or something like that. If we can get something done so that I can do some cross-examination because frankly, I have some questions for her too that I can't answer based on the information that we have here. So hypothetically, there will be a part four Anyway, so I'm just going to end this video the same way that I ended the first video. Fancy is purple. Will Kincaid's mean. But the age of consent still ain't 14. All right. Good night, ladies and gentlemen. I'm done. I gave me some pussy. You don't want a good gold dick in my ass. Oh, there's nothing like a good gold. <laughs> And on top of it, he filed a police report, and uh, nothing came of it. So Bring on the mariachi band! That's my mariachi! Here's the thing. Multiverse theories are bitch.